Well, what's interesting is we're knowing, or, or we know a little bit more about the explosive devices that were used. Remember, two explosions, 10 seconds apart, just hundreds of yards away from the finish line. The FBI released some footage, some photos of what this bomb, the remnants, actually looked like. And what you're seeing is this video of a mangled pressure cooker. Now, remember that from like the 60s and yes, 70s and 80s? Of course. Nobody, I mean, I don't use pressure cookers that much anymore, but this is a, apparently something that's commonly talked about on the internet as ways to make bombs. Al-Qaeda had even talked about making bombs using pressure cookers at, at one point in their existence. We do know that the, the, the bombs were packed with shrapnel, metal shards, also perhaps ball bearings were also used to maximize the amount of physical impact being done, and they were possibly placed in large duffel bags and or backpacks that were left. So we know a little bit more about the bombs. Because of this, that 12 block area of downtown Boston is still very much under guard. Mm -hmm. Crime scene investigators are there eva evaluating all the evidence. So if you're in Boston, you should still expect a heavy police presence, armored vehicles, motorcycle and patrol cars all over the place. Remember, the FBI is still trying to find out what happened. Were all the businesses shut down in that area when the you were there? Businesses were open sporadically. We were during our location shot across the street from a Dunkin Donuts that was open but just down the block there was a Starbucks that was closed a Starbucks that we showed yesterday was serving free food and coffee yes. to people in the area so businesses are still trying to get back on track remember downtown hotels are also a big part of the equation as well and remember interesting here the Yankees in yes in last night's game did play Sweet Caroline a tribute to the Boston Red Sox mm -hmm. so this transcends all that sports rivalry oh, as absolutely. well absolutely transcends the rivalry 100% that was a poignant moment, and also you can see uh, that they're still enjoying themselves. You know, life goes on.